48% of Americans who are married or live with their partner say that the number one thing they fight about is money. And money issues were cited as a leading cause of divorces, only behind incompatibility and infidelity. So it's important to get these issues out in the open before they can harm your relationship. But it's easier said than done, right? How do you handle a topic this sensitive? So joining us now on how to tackle that tough topic is personal financial expert, Bobby Rebel. Thank you for being here. Thank you so much for having me. What is the first step to getting on the same page with your partner about money if, you, if you're worried about this? Yeah, so the first st stage is really to communicate and set up sort of, I call it like a, a love mission statement, making it like a rules of life and love. And what you want to do is think about your hopes and dreams and the big picture things that you want to accomplish together mm -hmm. and make it very optimistic. Make it maybe even a vision board. Stay away from the minutia of the day to day and anything negative and deprivation and focus on where you want to go together so that you can come back to that when you're having arguments about the little things and say, okay, does this fit into our love mission statement where are we going from here i like that keep it positive because a lot of couples start marriage in debt they have the student mm -hmm. loans they have the credit cards that are maxed out so how can they tackle that together yeah well first of all this is so common megan i mean according to the yeah. federal reserve the average household has about six thousand dollars for example in credit card debt and that is so expensive and with inflation at now 7.5 percent we expect to see higher interest rates that is going to really pinch. So it's important to get on the same page, especially with things that are negative, like debt, and get rid of that negativity so you can f focus on the positive. Mm -hmm. So get a plan together for things like that and use things that make life easy so you're not constantly talking about it that you can automate. So an app, for example, like Tally, can put you on the same page because once you put your info in there, it's going to tell you both what is the most efficient way to pay down debt. And this is really important because rates are going up. Right. If you qualify with app with Tally, you can actually get your get a line a line of credit with a lower interest rate, pay off your debt faster, and then switch to the discussions about positive things where you do want to spend all the money that you're saving and get back to the big picture stuff that you want to do together. Because it's kind of daunting when you have all of that debt and you're trying to crawl out of it. And some people take one tactic, right? They want to scale back crazily. Other mm -hmm. people have issues scaling back at all. They need their daily latte. So how do you get on the same page when it comes to scaling back? Oh my goodness, I love this question. The truth is that everything doesn't have to be forever. You want your love to be forever, but the purchases <laughs> can be very temporary. So for example, you don't want to feel deprived. So do something temporary. For example, if you have so many um, streaming channels, they've added up over the pandemic. We keep adding, adding, adding. We don't even know what we have anymore. Decide to take two or three off the table. If, you're, if your partner is resisting, pick a date on the calendar going forward and say, okay, we're going to revisit it. Let's not subscribe to these two or three channels put it on the calendar for three months from today. And if you want to resubscribe, yes. we're on and I'll cut something next time. So make it temporary, course correct, and then revisit it and have the conversation together and make those decisions and make the compromises you need to make so you can focus again on the things that you really enjoy and value. People are going to like that. Short goals. We like it. Thank you yes. so much for joining us, Bobby, tonight. We appreciate your tips. Thank you, Megan.